We got a great story for you this week. Homophobic Family Values Group accuses Geico pig commercials of promoting bestiality. The advocacy group One Million Moms is at it again. The group slash collection of homophobic trolls best known for protesting JCPenney not one but twice has recently carved out a bizarre niche market for themselves by accusing popular commercials of promoting bestiality. Last year it was Skittles, this year it's Geico, for the insurance company's creepy commercials in which a pig spends time with a young woman in a convertible. And we're going to play you some audio from that awesome Geico ad right now. Did you just turn your ringer off so no one would interrupt us? Uh, oh no, I uh, just used my Geico app to get a tow truck. It's going to be here in 30 minutes. Oh, so that means we won't be stuck up here for hours with nothing to do. Uh, oh, I, I get it. You want to pass the time, huh? <laughs> Fruit Ninja! Emergency roadside assistance. Just a click away with the Geico mobile app. Now, that was a pretty salacious Geico ad there, um, but I wouldn't say it promotes bestiality. So uh, One Million Moms and their director, Monica Cole, commented on this, and here's what she had to say. It was just a pretty sleazy type of commercial because the girl in the commercial was really disappointed when she realized that she wouldn't be able to pass the time alone together. Then the One Million Mob website states that the organization's goal is to stop the entertainment media's exploitation of children. They said, kids are drawn to animals. That's normal. Animals are cute. That's why movies have animals that play lead roles in the main parts. And it may be over their heads in terms of understanding the meaning behind it, but there's a big concern when kids are being desensitized to this type of thing. And it's not the first time that Geico has tried to force its pro-animal-loving way on the kids. A bridesmaid was flirting with a gecko in a different commercial, so this is just becoming the norm for Geico, it seems, Cole said. Right. So, Richard Fowler, what are your thoughts on Geico and its bestiality? Well, I, I don't think that Geico is committing bestiality by any stretch or means of the imagination. I just think this lady is probably some sort, uh, you know, some sort of crazy. Oh, yeah, totally. I mean... Well, I think their whole movement is some sort of crazy. I hadn't heard of One Million Moms before I read this story, but it's pretty fascinating to me that you could get so worked up over, like, you know, an animatronic, um, you know, or a, a, a CGI frog or a CGI pig. I mean, when, let's, let's say 10, 20 years ago, what about Beauty and the Beast, the Disney movie? Well, these, I think, you know. These what, do you think about, what do you think they would say about that one? I mean, the, the sad part is that I think a lot of these groups, they just, they'll do, they'll call anything out for being something being wrong or something being, you know, homophobic or they'll find a reason to make themselves like, you know, to make themselves part of the conversation, sadly. Yeah. Uh, we, I mean, we see this with a lot of political groups that, you know, it just turns into kind of a one upsman thing where the crazy, you know, the crazier thing that you say, the more your organization's name gets in the news and you know people i yeah. guess believe that all press is good press oh of course they believe all press is good press and then they say like the cra- like they say these crazy bizarre almost like assholeish things uh and i think they do that to their own i think they do it to their own demise because i think there's people in all a lot of these groups you know there's probably one of the 1 million moms that don't feel that way and i think they isolate them um, and I play, they, you know, they play this name game politics where they think everything is wrong and everything somehow, you know, violates their biblical beliefs. But you know, yet at the same time, you know, they're some of the same ones, you know, doing these things. And interesting. Uh, that's an interesting point. I mean, uh, interesting stories. Everybody knows Candy Burris from The Real Housewives. Mm-hmm. I, I, well, like, I like I like <laughs> I don't. But oh, because you don't watch TV. everyone except me does. So on the Atlanta Real Housewives is a character named Candy Burris or Candy. Um, you know, she has a, a show called Candy Coated Night. Um, and she also makes sex toys. Um, they're called bedroom candy. You can go to Google and look them up, right? And she made a good, interesting argument because she just recently released a gospel song. And she's like, well, why did you release a gospel song? When you only did hip hop, you know, you feel as though that you're blurring the line of religion. She says, uh, absolutely not. Simply because a majority of the people that buy my sex toys are pastor's wives. How do you, uh, what I want to know is how do you get the information on who's buying your sex toys? So when they went, to uh, check out <laughs> online and it said job title did they type in pastor's wife i mean i don't know i think she talked to, like i mean she says a lot she says a lot of her toys online and at like these like you know or at, like weird conventions where yeah, people like, go to like get a book signed by someone on the real house real house yeah conventions like and you know events and a lot of them say that they're pastor's wives and i think it just goes to it goes to show that i think some of the people that you know claim profess to be the most religious among us you know happen to be the most heathenistic 
I mean, that's one example. The other example is Eddie Longstrokes or Eddie Long, Pastor Bishop, whatever, Eddie Long, who was sleeping with little boys and molesting them while being, you know, the pastor of a huge megachurch and condemning and being completely and totally and utterly homophobic. Um, and so I think One Million Moms falls in that same category of people who say, profess all these crazy things, but they're the same ones that are doing them. They're probably the ones sleeping with pigs. I don't know anybody that's <laughs> sleeping with a pig. I don't know any liberal, quote unquote, that sleeps with pigs. Do you? I, I, I don't get it at all. I mean, Geico's an insurance company. It's not like they're selling um, they're bestiality just vacations and they have these ads with like, you know, an attractive... CGI pig trying to seduce a woman. They're too conservative for their own good. Exactly. And we, we just see this over and over again. This is nothing new. Nothing new, America. Same old Washington politics.